Can you make it to those trees? Beautiful, you should have seen it. I just caught some shrapnel when I was bailing out. Here, let's take a look at you. It just knocked the wind out of me. How are we looking, sir? Yeah, they grazed you. Come on. We're gonna patch you up, buddy. <laughs> Das ist eine von Ihnen. Meine Mutter. Meine Schwester. You! You! So, der Junge! Hello, Americana. For you, the war is over. It's beautiful. It's all yours. What's it called? How about Across the Sky? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> A long way across the sky. Play it one more time. No, 
Don't worry. We take you home. Your new home. <laughs> out! 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 Jetzt Gefangene des Deutschen Reiches. You are now prisoners of the German Reich. Trotz all eurer Bemühungen, unser Land zu zerstören, despite your efforts to destroy our country, werde die mit Anstand und Ordnung gemäß der Genfer Konvention. You will be treated with all due civility, according to the statutes of the Geneva Convention. Wenn ihr euch an die Regeln haltet, werden wir es auch tun. As you follow the rules, we will follow the rules. Wenn nicht, dann wird es umso unangenehmer für euch. As you do not, you will find it more difficult. Gefangene in ausgewiesenen Baracken zuführen. Marsch! Halt! something to say your salute not unless you've been promoted several ranks in the past couple of days you salute no I outrank you. I'm not about to salute a master sergeant. Well, that doesn't stop Gail from trying about every other day. Welcome to the funny farm. I'm Larry Packer. Does either of you outrank Lieutenant Colonel by chance? Uh, no, sir. I'm a first lieutenant. My co-pilot here is a second. And I am still a senior American officer in this camp. Yeah. Well, the crowd's gonna shoot us down a colonel, huh? <laughs> That's Second Lieutenant Vincent Petrolini, flight engineer. Vinny, I'm from New York. Claire Klein, Minnesota. Well, yeah, huh? It's a pretty name. Just call him Klein. Lee Whitaker, Abercookie. Hey, 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 what am I thinking? Sit down, sit down. Let's have a look at your leg. McCready. Yes, sir. Hand over your crutch. It's all right. It's not broken. It's just a sprain, buddy. That's roll call. Every morning, every afternoon. Come on, we'll help you out. Let's move, gentlemen. Whitman, Frederick. Here. Zimmerman, Raymond. Here. Fall out! You've met Klaus. It's best to stay out of his way. That's Bernd Weber. But we just call him the lifeguard. They're reading the camp newspaper. Allied camp newspaper. Issued daily by some fellas in North Compound 3. Figured out how to make carbon paper. Vinny here built himself a radio. You built a radio here? With what? Oh, you know, this and that. And you'd be surprised what you can find around here if you're willing to pay for it, huh? The Red Cross cigarettes and coffee, they're like uh, gold in this camp. Chocolate ain't bad either. And you built a radio? Mm -hmm. And if the goons ever found it, I'll be in the cooler for a week. At the very least. So, gentlemen, this is home. Fellas, that's Jack Finley. He thinks he's Jack Dempsey. I, I think he's a spy for the Royal Air Force. All in a day's work. Quit. That's you over there. Klein, that's your billet. And, uh, Frank. Well, I don't know what Frank does besides lying his bunk all day. I guess he carves things. All right, Frank. Whatever it takes to fight the boredom. I could use a little boredom about now. Amen to that. That's because you're daft. You don't know anything yet. 
It's like Chinese water torture. They strap you down, and they let a little drop of water drip right in the middle of your forehead, over and over. And at first you're thinking, if this is all they've got, then keep it coming, lads. Because you're daft, and you don't know anything yet. Before long, you're ready to trade anything or say anything just to stop that next drop from falling. But it doesn't stop. And that's when you start to hear things that aren't there and see things that aren't there. And finally, your mind just snaps. Every day, in here, is another drip. You're right. We had a fellow up in North Compound, too. Went wire happy. Just thought he could get over the fence. They shot him before he was even halfway up. Let's see what you got. Hey, I got it. I'm just trying to get the ball, sir. I was just trying to get the ball. That'll be all, Lieutenant. Okay. All right. Where are we going? Hey, see you later. Okay. <laughs> in there for three days but you may want to listen up fellas <laughs> yeah he did the same thing on every bomb run <laughs> i think he's gonna be all right you know he sounds just like my mother <laughs> Hey. You want? It's mine. I want it. Klaus. Was machst du denn hier? Heimaturlaub. Sieben Tage bin auf dem Nachhauseweg zu Mama. 
Ich dachte, ich schau mal vorbei und äh, überrasch dich mal. Das ist sehr gelogen. Mensch, immer noch die Heulsuse, du älterer Bruder jetzt. Na komm, setz dich. Hab ich doch gerade. Jetzt setz dich. Sieben Tage. Heimaturlaub. Habt ihr nichts mehr zu tun an der Front? Ist da alles ruhig? Ich hab's mir verdient. Ist doch so schlimm. Hm. Der Führer in seiner unermesslichen Weisheit bestimmt noch ein strategisches Schmankerl auf Lager. Und deine Mädels? Wie geht's deinen Mädels? Dann geht's gut. Die sind immer noch bei Onkel Fritz in Lübeck. Hier guck mal, das Dora und Gisela. Die wird jetzt sechs. Ich hab was für dich. Was? Ja. Habe ich nach einem Angriff ganz toll erobert. Als Andenken an deine Zeit beim Feind. Zu nichts zu gebrauchen, wirklich. <lacht> Vielleicht kannst du sie als Gardinen einsetzen oder so. <lacht> idea what she was thinking. Night before I left, I played her a piece of music on the violin. Something I wrote for her. You wrote her a song? She loved it. As soon as I finished, she asked me to play it again. But I didn't. I couldn't. You remember what they said to us when we were captured? For you, the war is over. But it's not. It's just changed, that's all. I think it's... It's more in here now. No? Guys like you and Vinny can just laugh it off. I just know how to put on a good show. Only ever took her out twice. I'm telling you, she's the one. And when I get back home, I'm gonna marry this girl. Hey, look at this. I'm gonna pass it around once it's done. Something to do, right? Well, good night.
Uh, hello. You fellas want to keep it down. Can you draw a violin? <laughs> so you're actually going to build a violin. Why not? I've been making things out of wood my whole life. You ever made a violin before? I tried making one in high school. Yeah, how did that work out? Yeah. Oh, oh, and you think you can do it better here? In a prison camp? Something to do, right? But there ain't no hardware store around there, so where are you gonna get your tools from? Can I help you, lads? I'm just admiring your work. Okay. What do you want for the class? Nothing. It's not for sale. Well, not even a discussion? I could trade you for some. Playtime's over. Ah, come on. Unless you can get me a roof rabbit. A what? A climb? We should move along. A roof rabbit. One of those. You want a pet cat? You get me one, and you can have the glass. Where is he going? He's up there. Sir? Uh-huh. Can I borrow the clothesline? As long as you put it back. playing with the bait, the alarm will sound, and I'll give the line a good yank, and the crate will fall, and in theory, I've caught a roof rabbit. It could take a while. This is where you put the two F holes, one on either side. The F holes? Oh, the S type things. Yeah, the S type things. You're good. Where'd you pick it up? Here and there. I didn't realize you were so devout. I'm not. It's my son's name. Ah, got it. How old is your boy? What do you want? Where'd you get your tools? I need a few things. Can't reveal my sources. Well, maybe I could rent yours when you're not using them. I'm always using them. Your roof rabbit. Good luck getting him to calm down. Oh, I'm not too worried about that. It's a supper. You kitty, kitty, kitty. Do you really think they're gonna keep him as a pet, huh? I guess not. All this for that.
about there, huh? Those aren't thick enough and the wood is awful. Did you say you needed glue? Yeah. Wood glue, right? Yeah, preferably, but... I can get it. We're gonna have to make a deal. What are you thinking? Well, first of all, if I reveal my source, it stays my source. All right. What else? You're gonna have to give me something I want. What do you want? Fight me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to fight? What? Right here? No. In the ring. Been done before. The goons even supplied the gloves. I could make a request. Come on, Lieutenant. How bad you want this violin? Well, I need to see the glue first. Make sure it works. Yeah, Finley. Where did you get some glue from? Turn over your chair, you git. You're sitting on it. What are you talking about? It's good. Just keep your gloves up. Keep moving, okay? That's all you got for me? Uh, yeah. And, uh, good luck. Hey, I think I know where to get that wood for your neck. Violin? But I need a couple of minutes, so, uh, put up a good fight till I get back, huh? Clean fight. Finley, clean. Touch gloves. Yeah. Hey, buddy, still with us? That was amazing. 
You are full of surprises, Lieutenant. Hey, wait. Will you cross off wood glue? I'll cross it off. That was fun, mate. Yeah, a real hoot. Talk to the RAF lads over in seven. If we need more glue, they'll let me scrape it off their chairs. Especially after the show we gave them. Well, that'll keep you busy. Something to do? I think it's gonna work. Yeah. Thanks, Benny. Hey, you weren't the champ. I mean, you look terrible like a piece of beaten meat, but you know, what are you gonna do, huh? Five and a half on the side, though? I think so, huh? Uh, I got a side one. Mm -hmm. I'm done using this for now, if you need it. All right. but it just looks white to me. I miss you. Can you see me? It just feels good to keep working at it, you know? This one is ready for publication. <laughs> Fill those up in three, you're gonna make a bunch of copies. And get it around the camp. Do we know anyone with access to Herman's office? What do you need? His blinds. Hey, there's a guy in the West Compound who knows the Russian that cleans Herman's office. How many blinds do you need? Four should do it. Okay. Oh, take one of these. I understand you like American coffee. Yeah. Yeah, what? Guys. Yeah, what's up? I have da was im Lager gefunden. I thought that could sich vielleicht interessieren. Einmal mal her damit. Ach, und das finden Sie lustig? Nein, 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 nein. Natürlich nicht. Enemy up. the artist. You did this. No, sir, I have no idea who would do that. Let untersuchen.
how did those get there? And the cooler. I know something. All right, fellas, ante up. How long is he in for? Ten. Ten days? Sir, yeah, we need to bring him some things. Here. There. OK, I give him, and you give me. We just gave you. Frank. You want to chip in here? Lieutenant Romero. Is that an order, sir? No. No, it's not an order. No, no, no. Hey, books. Well, this is our food. Yeah. I give you. Wait. This, too. This from Klein. What's your beef, Lieutenant? Why don't you make a little effort to get along with the other guys? If for no other reason than your patriotic duty. Patriotic duty? I signed up a day after Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Don't look so surprised. I was raring to show those Japs a thing or two. Instead, they made me a bombardier. Sent me to Europe. Told me it was my patriotic duty to drop bombs on a bunch of German families. Hold up, son. We don't bomb civilians. Well, unless your bombardier was a lot better than I was, you also hit a lot of houses. No one got shot down and captured. I saw the damage we do. I saw a little boy about my son's age, dead in his mother's arms. Thought we were supposed to be the good guys. There's nothing black or white in any of this. But I can tell you, Frank, this war will end. And how we face it in here will make all the difference when it does.
with the charcoal. Sleep. That's normal. Before your first one. And before your eighth one, apparently. This is your eighth mission, Captain? And you know I'm a first lieutenant, right? Yes, sir, Captain. <laughs> a year ago, right now, I was sitting in Mr. Kratzer's algebra class just dreaming about being over here. Up in the air. Dropping bombs on the Nazis. Dream come true. Sir, what if we... We'll talk about this tomorrow night. After we get back. But what Alistair. If we... What if we don't make it After back? we get back. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, what? Good to have you back. I knew you were. I got it. Thank you. You salute. Forget it. Here. Give me that. I, <clears throat> I can't remember her face. I, I used to know every detail. Now I can't remember. Girls, huh? Wait, what are you doing? Huh? Come on. Let's get you inside. His, his hearing, it's been, it's been bad since... Thanks, family.
Hold on. So you were with him? He was trying to stop him. Yeah. speak English. In America, Boston College, I studied mathematics. I love the Red Sox. I hate the Yankees. We go. This is from Bernd. Come. took his mattress to another barracks until someone else moves in. I need pine resin. Well, I'll 
we're surrounded by pine trees. So I'm sure we can figure the resin out. something a bit more fun, like a baseball bat or something, but no. I'm stumped. Any ideas? I'll ask around. you fellas have uh, a violin bow? Talk to Brian. Is that yours? Yeah, I guess. I was here when I got here. You use a violin bow to prop the window open. When it stinks in here, yeah. Why? Come with us. Bring your bow. <laughs> what do you want for the bow? Nothing. You can have it. Best of luck. Thank you. Luck of the Irish, huh? Unbelievable. Yeah. Fellas, got company. Uh -huh. I help you. You like? I like. What do you want? You didn't salute him, did you, sir? Not on your life. No, no, he had something else in mind. You just want some hooch? No, he wants the hooch maker. I uh, know, sir, I can't. Sorry. It's all right. You can help me make another one. Yes, sir. Packer doesn't want to play. <coughs> Packer doesn't want to lose. <laughs> you may be the commanding officer in here, but you are one of the worst car players I've ever played with. <laughs> I don't dispute it. Sir, will you hand me the bow? Of course. Here you are. Thanks. With me. That can't be good. German forces have surrounded most of the US dead camps. This is a severe setback for the Allied forces. Yesterday, there was confidence the war would be over within months. Today, everything has changed. The counter in the Ardennes Forest of Belgium may push ultimately back an entire year, possibly more. Can't do another year in here. 
These were already earned. Powers that be are enacting changes in protocol. Food rations will be cut, and all Red Cross deliveries will be halted until further notice. Frank, give me a dog tags. All four. Hey, come on, it's Christmas Eve. Thank you. Pop had a dream and said that you'd be home in nine days. But I don't know. I just keep thinking. Peace on earth. Goodwill towards men. Over and over and over again. Golly, Klein. That was beautiful. More. Oberst, ich dachte, Sie wären über Weihnachten verreist. War ich. Und diese Nachricht erhalten. Es tut mir sehr leid. Ich weiß, dass Sie Ihrem Bruder sehr nahe standen. Mir ist klar, dass dies nicht der günstigste Zeitpunkt ist, aber ich dachte, Sie würden nicht wollen, dass ich Ihnen diese Informationen vorenthalte. Nein, das ist schon recht so. Ich danke Ihnen.
Merry Christmas, sir. Give me the violin. No, sir. Give me the no, violin. Give me the violin! Klein, stop. Give me the violin! Let go, let go. Give me the violin! Take it! Take it, take it, take it. Because First Lieutenant Claire Klein assaulted a German officer, he will be held in solitary confinement until further notice. Klaus won't let anyone near him. Gil won't even trade for extra food or blankets. None of the goons will. What, you think the, the Krauts are gonna let the Russians just come in here and set us free? No, no, they'll, they'll, they'll take us outside and shoot us long before that. No, come on, Frankie, we're going home, huh? We're going home, Frankie! Right well, fellas, he's right. More likely, they'll force us to retreat with them. Either way, it's a death sentence. Enemy up! Come out, fellas. Klein, did you hear what they're saying on the radio? The Russians are close. Weeks. That's what they're saying. This is yours. Master Sergeant.
can't sleep high enough. Yeah. Come on. I was kind of hoping to hear you play that violin again. I'll help you fix it up if you want. I was kind of hoping someone would help me to the latrine. <laughs> now that I can help you with. Yeah, I can get you there, but after that, you're on your own. Come on. Here. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? You're just like a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> so the goons are getting nervous because the Russians are so close. So our days of wheat soup and wood and bread are numbered for you. You keep fighting me. Wie lange glauben Sie? Eine Woche vielleicht. Und dann? Befehle befolgen. We outnumber the goons ten to one. We get everyone together and we have a good chance. without losing a lot of men. All due respect, sir. But if we do nothing, then they take us on some death march. BBC already said it's happening in other camps. Some guys in Barrack 7 made a whole load of these. I can get more. If I go down, I go down fighting. I'm with him, sir. With dignity. I hear you, boys. Hey, Frank. Don't. That's all right, Benny. Well, for starters, we're gonna need some more glue. Here. Ellen O'Clark. Here. 
Marion Collins. Yeah. Hey, Captain. Lester R. Evans. Yeah. Hey, Al. So what I tell you? That we talk about it when we got back. And? And we got back, Captain. Important safety tip. Always trust your pilot. What if I just want to go home? I want to go home. I want to go home. Here. I'm here. We, uh, I've got something for you. Oh, don't look at me. Frankie did the work. Oh, no. I, I had a lot of help. Hopefully this still works. Why don't you tune it up? See how it sounds? Maybe not right now, fellas. Thanks all the same. Herr Kommandant requires a presence. This is where it comes down, lads. We have more of these. And there are men all over the camp ready to fight if we have to. Goons come back. They'll get more than they bargained for. Not yet. But we need to wait and hear what Pack says. Just, just wait for him to come back. If he comes back. Lieutenant Packer, da Sie hier der ranghöchste amerikanische Offizier sind, muss... Lieutenant Colonel Packer, as you are the senior American officer in this camp, I am to inform you that Russian forces are nearing the camp and will likely reach it within two days. Mein Befehl vom Oberkommando lautet, das Lager sofort zu... My orders from High Command are to... Alle Gefangenen müssen in zwei Stunden... ...evacuate the camp immediately. Prisoners must be ready to leave the camp within two hours. We will... Escort you to a safe location. No, sir. We're not leaving. Walking out of here with you? That's a death march. You'll have to shoot us first because my men. Do not we're not force going our hand, You'll Lieutenant stay Colonel right here Packer. And wait for the rush. This will not be good for you or any of the prisoners. They want to live. The Russians will be here in hours. It's over. It's too late.
who write this music. I did. For my wife. Good luck with the Russians. Klein! 